guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shaki and today I have a huge book haul for you. I'm aiming to read 100 books this year because I feel like everyone else has and I haven't. This is going to be my year for reading and reading 100 books. So with that in mind, I had to buy a lot of new books because I can't just reread all the same books. I mean, I could, there's no problem in that. Supply and demand works in a way you read more you buy more. So I thought I'd start doing these monthly, bi-monthly hauls where I just kind of show you everything that I've bought. Since I didn't do one in January, I decided to kind of combine the end of January to now in February because I'm now on a book buying ban for the rest of February. You'll see by that pile in a minute. This is like from the end of January and went almost at the end of February. So you can assume it's about a month. These are the books that I bought or received in the month of February slash the end of January, like the last few days. Because of a lot of them, I can't say in detail what they're about but I will highlight the ones that I'm very excited for. I've also tried to like sort them into genre. So I'll say the genre and you can kind of gauge what they're about by the genre, but I'm really sorry that I can't say what they're about. Hopefully in March, because I won't have to combine two months kind of, I will be able to like tell you more, but probably not because this will probably happen again in March, you know, I never learn. So the first one is by far the biggest pile of books, which is contemporary. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but these are all contemporaries, I think. The first book that I'm gonna be mentioning in this video was An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. It doesn't have a dust jacket, which is really sad, but I got it for very cheap, so I wasn't really expecting it to be in like great condition. But other than that, it's pretty good. The next book is a contemporary new release, and that is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I'm actually meeting Angie Thomas on the 6th of March, I think, with Waverly in Manchester, and I'm so bloody excited, like my body can't contain it. But this is another one of Angie Thomas's novels about Black Lives Matter, I think, set in the same neighborhood. It's not duology or anything like that, not a series, but it's set in the same neighborhood and I'm really excited to get to this one. The next book is Odd One Out by Nick Stone. I actually read this last week and didn't particularly like it. I do have a rant review book review thing coming your way very soon. I'll link it whenever it's up. If it's up already it'll be down below but if not then you'll have to wait but the same it chief. Next is Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Lodge. I also read this in February. It was phenomenal. I gave it five out of five stars and I bought it in February to read in February. Makes sense. Next is American Street by Ibby Zaboy. I've heard very good things about this and I got it for a discounted price at a charity shop. Next is Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. This one I'm reading for my room with season's spring TBR. So that one as well. Oh, no, no, I'm <laughs> Next is Pulp by Robin Talley, which is an LGBTQ plus novel. I'm not sure. I think it's about writers because Pulp and stuff. I always actually ask for this for Christmas and I got her a copy and I also got me a copy. So I think we're going to buddy read this. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this one and to buddy read. And my best friend loves Robin Talley. So I'm hoping that I like her too. Next is Unspeakable by Abby Rushton, which I got from Music Magpie, which is a second hand bookstore. And someone's wrote hashtag girls on the front. I mean, I couldn't love it any more than that, really. Next is a very battered copy of Eat, Pray, Love. Next is Me, Earl and the Dying Girl by Jessie Andrews. Another one for my room with Season Spring TBR. Another one for my room with Season's TBR is The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. Apparently, I'm a sucker for mental health rep. We all knew this. We've been new. Next is The Astonishing Colour of After by Emily X. Pat. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this one as well. Um, my book group chat when I said that I bought this um, said they like raved about it and I really can't wait to read this. I might even have to read this in March. Next is Looking for Alaska by John Green. This is the... I think it's the American one. I now own four editions of Looking for Alaska and... This is never enough, so I bought a new one. Next is How Hard Can Love Be by Holly Bourne, which is a book in the Spencer series that I haven't read yet. I'm reading them in a really weird order, but yeah, I bought this for February. Next one I didn't actually buy, I received it, and that's What If It's Us by Becky Abtal and Adam Silvera. Waverly went to go and meet them in December? Was it December or was it November? A long time ago, basically, and she got it personalised and signed for me. It's kind of got quite a while ago, but I haven't hauled it yet, I don't think, so I decided to go ahead and share it in this video. Next is Five Feet Apart by a lot of people that I can't pronounce, so let's go ahead and try. Rachel Lippincott, Mickey Daughtry, and Tobias Ikeno Ikenois. I, I, I have to address this here and now. They are exactly the same. Next is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I wanted to read this in February as well, but unfortunately didn't get around to it. Next is The Understudy by David Nichols. And I saw this in a charity shop and just couldn't resist. I just thought it was a really good premise. It's about this girl who is always like an understudy and now she's getting her lead role and she falls in love. And I really can't wait to get to this. And it's gonna be so interesting. Also the cover is so cute. I want to just marry it. And the last of the new releases and contemporaries that I bought in February. We are all made of molecules by Susan Nielsen. Nielsen? Nielsen. I bought this because of the cover, honestly. It was a massive cover buy. And I'm a science nerd sometimes, so I thought I would just go. <laughs> Moving on to some series that I bought in February. 
first of all we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I've heard some really good things about this as well. Next is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stevedo, which I'm very excited to get to as well. I'm gonna make a whole like reading the Raven Boys for the first time. I'm pretty sure this is a series, but it didn't really fit anywhere else. The next one I brought was Ink by Alice Broadway. It is gonna be very reflective. I'm very sorry, I'm sort of right under my light. But yeah, I heard some really good things about this as well. It's quite peculiar. I'm really into it and I can't wait to get to this series because I feel like it's gonna be kind of my jam. Bit peculiar, bit mysterious, I'm into it. Next is Illuminate by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This is the first book obviously in the Illuminate Files series. It is also told in a mixed media format and I'm very excited but also very nervous. Next up we have a lot of Cassie Clare books, all right? Prepare yourself. The first book that I bought of Cassie Clare's was Lady Midnight, which is the first book in the Dark Artifices series. Next I brought Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess, both of the Infernal Devices series. I then received City of Bones and City of Ashes from Waverly because she was doing a massive unhaul. And I haven't got these copies, so I thought I would just grab them. The next book that I bought in February was Champion by Marie Lu, which is the third book in like the Legend series now. There's not a trilogy anymore because there's a fourth book coming out called Rebel Soon, so I need to read this. And the last kind of series book that I brought was Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. I own Throne of Glass and I really want to get to them soon. I saw this in a bargain shop and thought, why the hell not? It's not going to be as cheap as it is now. So I just motherfucking bought it. I don't know why. I only read the first one. The next three are three books that I didn't really know how to classify. So we've got a thriller, we've got a poetry, and we've got a classic. The classic is To Kill a Mockingbird by... I don't even know the author. Harperly. I heard Bookmarks really liked this when they were like talking about required reading. So that's why I picked it up because I've never read it before. And I thought, why not? Just go ahead and try it. Next is The Weight of the Water by Sarah Croissant. This is a poetry collection, I think. I think either it's a poetry collection or it's just told in verse. And also... The writing is blue. And the last kind of jumble of these three books I didn't know how to classify was Into the Water, which is the newest thriller from Paula Hawkins who wrote Girl on the Train, which I still haven't read yet. But I bought this because I apparently hate myself. One of the ones that I couldn't classify and just put them all together to classify them. Um, I forgot one of those and it's Under My Skin by James Dawson. Now we officially are onto the last pile and I think these are all like mix matched again. So the first few are ones that I believe are retellings and the first one is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I believe this is an Alice in Wonderland retelling but I'm not 100% sure but yeah I thought this was a bargain. Next is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero which is the first book in the Charlotte Holmes series. I'm so excited to get to this another read for March and maybe another like reading vlog will come out of this as well but I'm so excited to read this and I can't believe I have it. It's gorgeous, it's an American floppy paperback and I'm in love with it. Next we have To Kill a Kingdom by Alexander and Krista. This is a little memory retelling and I don't really like retellings as you can probably tell by this whole haul. I haven't bought that many but I'm really excited to try this. I also have it on my Kindle so I thought I could have it physically and on my Kindle as well. Next is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas which is the second book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series whatever it's called. I don't know I think it's a trilogy. I believe the first one was a retelling of Beauty and the Beast and this one is a retelling of Hades and Persephone. That rings a bell. I'm gonna try this after I've reread the first one in October. I'm gonna have like a whole binge of them all. Get the third one as well. The last three are kind of historical fictions in a the first one is Waterstones' is February book of the month and that is Old Baggage by Lisa Evans. This is all about suffragettes and basically a woman who is now in her like middle age, her 40s, looking back on her days as a suffragette and thinking what my what is my purpose? I just can't wait to get to this and I'm really really excited. Next I actually received, I didn't buy this one and that is The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogen Herms Go War. I got this as a late Christmas present because the person who gave it to me couldn't quite make it for Christmas and birthdays and they've only really just given it to me as a Christmas present because we've only just seen them. This is set in 1785 and it's basically someone who sells all of his belongings for a certain mermaid because he's like invested in it or something, I can't remember but there is to do with mermaids in here as it says by the title and it's set in like war time. And the last book of this very, very unnecessarily big and long-winded book haul is The Boy in Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. I have seen the movie of this and oh my god, I wanted to read the book straight away, but I've only just had a chance to pick it up. This is obviously, if you didn't know, a historical fiction based in World War II. It's about two boys who meet, one of them lives in a camp and is a Jew, one of them lives by the camp with his father who is a Nazi and I'm not ready for this book, but I'm, I am ready all at the same time. I'm not going to hold all them books up because there was over 40 of them. That is just unnecessary, Shakira. What are you doing? Thank you so much for watching my little book haul. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I make videos on this channel every single Tuesday for booktube videos. I also have a bookstagram, which is the same handle as my YouTube. It's looking for Shaki. And I post on there, not as often as I like to, but I do try. See you next week. Bye! You've got a face for a smile, you know. A shame you're wasted when you're breaking me slowly. But I've got a world of chance.